Welcome back everyone, it's Hunter One, here with another episode of Ground Squirrel Hunting. After I got my gun sighted in and pulled up on the property, I saw this ground squirrel sitting at 34 yards. As you can see, I put a JSB king on it. He was done. Let's take a moment to review that shot through the scope cam. You can see he absorbed the full impact of the king. This next shot was taken at 61 yards. There was a lot of wind this day, about 15 miles an hour, so it was a really, uh, really need to have an adequate holdover. Here's that same shot through the scope cam. You see I'm holding one mil dot to the right. Contact. The shot was taken at 52 yards with a 15 mile an hour wind from left to right. I had to hold over about one mil dot for windage in order to make contact. Here it is through the scope cam. Contact. Here's another 52 yard shot. I like to call this whispering your ear. Here's why. This guy takes a vicious blow. He's only about 30 yards away and the king just really did an unbar. You will see in the slow motion clip. Here's the shot through the scope cam. I'm holding one mil dot over because he's so close. I will freeze frame here so you can see exactly what happened. There are no words for that one. Right after that previous shot, this guy showed up. I guess he wanted to see what was going on, so I put a thing on him. He's done. I just want to reiterate that the movement after the shot is just all nerves. It's a perfect head shot. There's no brain activity. You just see the muscles firing because the nerves are sending signals to him. Here's that same shot through the scope cam can see the shot placement in this one. This one was too close to adjust for windage even though the wind was about 15 miles an hour. 25 cal can carry that. He is done. This shot was taken at 84 yards. 
this ground squirrel was sitting on the top of a like a mountain rock pile. I took the first shot and you can see the pellet went right beside it. So I can see exactly where it went on replay. So I adjusted for it and I took another shot. He wouldn't be so lucky the second time. Here's that shot through the scope can. You can see I held over one mil dot to the right for windage. Head shot. Lights out. This guy had to be the luckiest one of the day. That little rock in front of his head saved his life. If I could have that over again, I would hold up. Maybe half mil dot instead of full as you would see on the scope cam replay. Just look at how lucky he got. This final shot was taken just at 45 yards. I apologize for all the camera movement, but I was doing the best I could to line the shot up so I could bring it to you. Here it is through the scope cam. Now there's just one more issue that I need to address. A lot of people say that people buy hat signs because they are unable to afford higher end air rifles. I have to say that is just ridiculous and far from the truth. I buy hat signs because I like the performance that I get from them. I can afford any air rifle that I want and I have many different firearms as you will see in this next clip. I buy hat sand because I choose hat sand, not because I have to. They perform well. See you next time. And as always, thank you for watching.